Hello, people of the Earth, and welcome back to Quick Save TV. My name is Mike, and this is the continue, the episode number two of our XCOM 2, one of the chosen playthrough. When we left off, the game crashed on us and left us with a black screen, which was, uh, 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 let's just, you know, whatever, get on with this shit. Everyone got a promotion, which makes me an incredibly happy man. And we're in for a cinematic, which I found out because, <laughs> you know, because I skipped it accidentally, and it was awful. Let's just watch it. new is no more its membership have all sworn loyalty to the advent administration with one exception it is good to see you again in the days since your capture i have done all i can to aid the resistance from the inside it was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction as of now Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. New objective added. Going to need. There you go. We're making the first missions. Commander. I've updated our the first steps, I should say, on what we have to do. And as I said before, we got an engineer for, oh, excuse me, for this uh, mission, which is, Commander. if I stop burping for five seconds, my even my body is against me. All right, so we got an engineer. An engineer is super important in the early stages of the game, which is exactly what we got. We're going to ignore it for just a second. Low supplies don't matter. He has white eyes, don't ask. He's just going nuts. Let's assign him to here to build it as fast as we can. It's super important. The faster we can acquire it, the sooner we can start abusing it, and uh, it's going to be really important. Um, first thing, first thing first, right? We want to go to our armory. Uh, let's just our, let's just save just in case. Yeah, I moved all the old one. Campaign one, fuck campaign one. No one cares. It was a test to make sure. I also deleted my profile file. That's why the campaign is so low. It should be in the 50s right now. And it's not the first time I'm deleting it too. Uh, this is going to be mission three, right? Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's play. How would I do that? Let's go LP dash mission 03. Yeah, this is good. I can work with that. So in case anything happens, we have the backup just in case. Uh, let's take a look at our soldiers now. What have we got from this? Operation. It's dark, it's dank, and it's mostly metal. It's dank, for sure. Uh-huh. I'm not sure what the level up yet. Let's take a look at our rookies. What do they get? Survey Excellent. Demolitions exp Excellent. The heavy will be super important. Malika? Please no sniper. The Ranger, sir. Thank God. That's really, 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 really important. And they're also friends, uh, which is super good, too. Uh, I think they are almost. Cool, cool, cool. They're almost friends. Uh, they're almost bonded. This I'm definitely bonding because because it's a massive boon to us also. Let's go with this. Yeah, baby, let's go. Let's just go. Let's just go ape shit on the random button. Woo! What the fuck? Some of this... Okay, this is fine. Thunder and lightning. I like it. Um, and promote. In what way? Oh, that's a good one for later. Combat protocol. Medical protocol. Which one I want, actually? Which one do I want? I mean... Oh, fuck. I'm gonna walk over myself and take combat protocol. 
It is generally better on legendary uh, difficulty, on the legend difficulty, but I'm not a huge fan of it uh, on, when I play on commander difficulty. But there are a lot of situations when it's just very, very useful. Incredibly so. Oh my god, it's such useful perks. So good. The Blade Storm first, now Fortress, super useful. Amplify Aftershock, Stun Strike, Pillar, Overcharge. Okay, okay, let me try to prioritize this. I don't care so much about this two for now. And he's gifted, so it's really good. She's gifted, it's really good. Overcharge. Eh. Pillar. No, 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 I don't want Overcharge. What about Aftershock? Fold are easier to hit. That's actually really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna grab an after aftershock and try to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I use. I, I, I like to rely on pillar, but aftershock is a really good pickup here. And this, fantastic. So we got a couple of really critical skills. So now I can effectively use my vault from afar, and I can use blade storm up close, making her even more useful in the zombie missions. So we have a specialist grenadier, ranger, and sharpshooter. Okay, we have a whole bunch of guys. A whole bunch of levels. Uh, Next is already level three, but really important. And by level three, I mean I, I think it's the rank of sergeant, but I'm not 100 sure. Uh, I'm playing a modified game, as you can see. Nothing that changes the gameplay, right? Very important. Only things that make the game more visually appealing or more easy to navigate for myself. Nothing that gives me any edge over the enemy necessarily. Laboratory, research, yeah, we're good to go. Let's get out of here. We have nothing else to do. Commander, yeah, we have a lead we'll do it in a while. Black side, but we'll have to rely Not on now. We want to focus on engineer. Um, Black side is definitely a priority, but it's not, you know, it's not like, oh my god, we have to do it right now. We're not in a rush. We can take it easy and we can, when, when the timer appears for the, um, when the, basically the doom timer appears. based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. As I was saying, the fuck was I saying anyway? I don't remember. Whatever, don't matter. Who cares? We got it researched, which unlocks us. Oh, that's nice. The implanted chip is the key. That's kind of nice, actually. Do I care? Modular assault rifles is a is a late game upgrade. It's definitely an early game, and I think I might want to skip it, but I'm not. Sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, you know what? Let's go. Let's go research it. It's not something that I wanted to do, but I think it's like it's fine. It's alright. It's not a perfect um, role on our breakthrough, but it's alright. And we're gonna get a new engineer, which is super good. In just a moment. In just 24 hours. Nice. Give me the lost mission. There you go, baby. We get a scientist, intel, and a grenadier. Ludmila Sokolova. This is my name. I'm a grenadier, dude. I throw grenades. That's exactly what I want to have. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go, Ludmila. More Russians to the team, please. 
Slavkom. Commander, you should be aware. Okay, We're sit down. Loft activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. <coughs> Excuse me. If I want, if I can, I want to take Fadero on this mission because I want to level her up. But we'll see. Oh. If I can. I mean, definitely taking a Templar would be so good, but she's tired. Can we actually do it without her? I don't know. Can we? I mean... Shh, I mean... I mean... Fuck, man, that's a tough decision. Yeah, yeah, we have to take him. I think it's it's an, it's an acceptable risk. There's a situation where it goes apeshit wrong. Uh, I just hope we're not going to encounter this particular situation. If we do not, easy money. If we do, uh, you know, whatever. Fuck all, you know. <laughs> Who can we grab here? Taking it just a ranger is fine here. She has a better... Uh, we're trying to level up with the other guy, but... We can't afford the grenadier. There's no way it's gonna end well for us. There's no scenario in which Grenadier will be useful. Flashbangs will be not useful at all. Yeah, in this specific mission it's gonna be useless. A hundred percent useless. Lost are immune to flashbangs, so we're gonna have to avoid using that. Uh, we can grab a med kit. I don't think we need to. Yeah, I don't think we need to. So yeah, anyway, so uh, the, the reason why I was considering this, like all the opportunities is this, that I, I really want to make sure that we keep leveling up. Uh, we, we need the strongest member on the team, just in case, because we're a four-man squad. Uh, at the same time, we want to take a sharpshooter to be able to level her up a little bit, which is really important, because otherwise she will just stagnate and never reach the greatness that is the sharpshooter. Now we want to equip the guns for flavor. All with the base stats of the original game, just different flavors, so to speak. Um, R700, Og, and for you... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, fantastic. That should work fine. Yeah, that should work fine. A Ranger is really good here, Sharpshooter is really good here, Templar is exceptional here. Uh, Ranger and Templar is exceptional, Sharpshooter is really good, uh, Specialist is whatever, but it's fine. We're taking them for level leveling purposes, yes. Uh, okay, let's go. Okay, Archivet says uh, that I should mention, he says just say what things are better to learn at different stages of the game. And the reason I don't do that is because I don't want you to blindly repeat after me. I think it's a bad idea, it's a bad way to learn uh, to play the game. Uh, because, you know, it doesn't actually teach you to play better. Uh, and the problem with this is that, okay, okay, so... Let's say there's a specific shit, like, oh yeah, I want to level this up, right? What if XCOM 3 comes out? You're again, you're fucked, right? You never learned anything, you just like, you were just, uh, parroting, you were just aping of someone else, and when you have to think yourself, you're gonna be in a terrible spot. And I don't want that for you. Uh, what I want you is to be able to learn it for yourself, these principles and these concepts, so that you are able to later like implement them when you play on your own, right? And you know why you're doing it, you know? You're not just aping off something. You know exactly why you do this. And so back to the topic that Guadalajara? Guadalajara? What? Challenge throne. Yeah, that's my that's my yeah, challenge that's that's my thing. Challenged I'm all about being challenged. And throne, that's that's my chair under me. Not even a chair, it's actually a, a, a stool, a metal stool, very communist to me, I know. Yeah, let's go. So yeah, so um, you cannot actually, like, there's no best for each situation. There are trade-offs. There are situations when you want to pursue one thing, and there are situations when you want to sacrifice it and pursue the other thing. Like, for example, the thing I did here, there, researching the um, uh, modular assault rifles. Oh yeah, we have to, we have to actually. Um, uh, the modular assault rifles are objectively worse than uh, the other things. But the reason I'm going for them is because, like, yeah, I, I can afford to, you know? That's fine. I can grab it anyway because um, I'm not in a... Um, I'm not in... Like, I don't 
necessarily want to rush something else. I can sacrifice my efficiency to be better off in later stages of the game. And that's a lot of the, like, when you play this game, it's a lot of this, like, this decision-making. Okay, can I can I sacrifice this, you know? Is it, is it all right if I do this, you know? What is the offset? What is the trade-off of me doing something like this? And, and you're constantly trying to consider these things, you know, so that you don't... You don't always want to pursue the late game decisions, but a lot of the times it really pays off. You just have to manage the risks of doing so, and it's really, really important. 73, that's a good chance. If anybody needs any help with anything, yeah, just let's, let me know. let's start pummeling away at those assholes. Perfect. There you go. Naron's the real sniper. Let's go. And then again, it was a shit shot. And it's another shit shot. But we're gonna port them because it's like whatever. The equipment I have been assigned may have had a noble history. However, the time has come to make some new purchases. Why do I have four bullets again? Am I actually going insane? Did shotgun always have four bullets? If so, I'm actually going insane. That's a good damage. Now we just sit on our asses. Not much else to do. We have to constantly keep moving forward on a mission like that. To make sure that we reach them before they are overwhelmed. But we cannot just run, you know, through all of this. We have to be respectful, in a way. Fader is in his excellent position to start pummeling away those assholes. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get the guaranteed free kills first. Uh, or almost guaranteed, you know. Uh, and then we're going to start thinking what we do next. Because reloading the sniper rifle is actually a lot of hassle. Uh, and if we can, we would like to avoid um, using our sniper rifle when we are able to. Boom! That's why sniper. That's why sharpshooter is such Mommy a great pickup on a mission coming. like that, because of the uh, the it. entire kit works. The way entire kit works. You have a pistol that you never have to reload. You have a sniper Problem rifle that when you solved. grab a position like that, you just like pff, you you you're golden. You know what I mean? You never have to worry about shit. And now we can use Fadera again. We can use Fadera exclusively. Already four down, right? Brute comes out. Doesn't matter. We have a Templar next to us. We're safe, right? It looks bad, but we actually have everything under control. And what we're going to do now is we get a couple of free headshots again. Another one liquidated. Another one destroyed. So six down. And now we can also deal some damage to this guy to make sure that Dor will be able to one-shot him on this turn. Which is perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost one shot. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna risk it. That's fine, I think. If she did, does enough damage. No, she didn't. That sucks. We, we have people to, to finish them off. It's just, it would be so much better if, you know, we could just do it like this. Yeah, we don't actually care. It's fine. We destroyed one, two, three packs of zombies. We destroyed the more difficult one. The... Uh, a uh, beefy fuck is the more difficult one, absolutely. Um, and destroying him will just open so many opportunities for us moving forward. This is an excellent position for us to take. Uh, nothing's gonna change if I move up here. Yeah. Understood. Because if we don't have direct vision of this corner, you know, it's blocked. So if zombies are right here, I'm fine. Because there's no way they're gonna spot us. Super important. When you move up aggressively like this, that you don't leave yourself in a situation where the enemy will get out of the corner and you have zero action points to respond to a situation like this. So, okay, next one. How do we tackle this? There's a couple of ways to do that. Yeah, there's a couple of ways to do this. And honestly... Yeah, we could get Fadera here. That's a safe position to be in. We still have a lot of action points. Let's move up. Without using cover for now, as brazenly as we can, to try to attract as many zombies as possible. Uh -huh, no one is here. At least we don't see shit. She has a blade storm, so she should be safe against most of the enemies attacking here. Let's move here even more brazenly. Yeah, it's fine. None of them are a threat to Nexus, so we can just throw him at the enemy. Uh, and he's gonna be fine. Or she, in this circumstance. One of the viewers. And if you wanna be one of the team. You know what to do, baby. Leave a comment, uh, tell your preferences if you have any, and I will try to follow them. But obviously, saving Earth is Most more important than following your commander. preferences. So if I have to sacrifice something, I absolutely will. <laughs> uh, and the reason we can throw Nexi forward is because he has Blade Storm. And this is more specifically why. There you go. Everyone is dead. <laughs> 
keep moving forward. I think the blade storm bugged out a little bit, but we don't necessarily care. They're both dead, right? Oh no, those are alive. <clears throat> um, Fadera, have you got a shot? Yes, sort of. Let's go. Of course you got a shot, baby. It's you. Fucking American sniper. What is this? What is this? That's how you play a sharpshooter, sharp shooter, baby. Just reload, Kashli. Sit here. Is it just me? We all good, baby. Ridiculous. Was it just me, or was this utterly ridiculous? I'm, I'm not sure I follow you. It's, it's actually one of my favorite characters in uh, Jake the Lions. Uh, this one in particular, the voice Fadera has is Raven uh, from Jake the Lions. Uh, actually, American Sniper too. Excellent character. Charlene Higgins. Nice, there's a bunch of them, but we don't give a shit. We just want to make sure that we don't destroy this thing. If we destroy this car, woo, we're fucked. 100% fucked. So we have to be really, 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 really smart about the way we do this. What is the smart way to do this? Okay, uh, there are a couple. It's, we're gonna start. We're gonna start working. Anything, just let me know. So this is the way we're gonna do this. We reached uh, Doctor Edwards. Uh, Abby Edwards, we have to get her out of here. This is the priority. That supersedes everything else. But there's quite a lot of things that we can do here to play around a little bit. And that's what we're gonna do now. There's a lot of them, right? And it looks really bad, but it really is not. Uh, when you play yourself, the only thing that you have to pay attention to is lost dashers. Dashers, dashers, dashers. All of the dashers supersede uh, the priority in taking them down, right? Everyone else does not. Uh, also, a better way for me to play it out would be to shoot my shotgun on 100% shots first, and then repeat. But it's fine. And there's a couple of positions that we could take. This one, I, I think I appreciate quite a lot. Dr. Abby can just be lined too, dude. Yeah, absolutely can be lined. And we'll see what Fadera can actually fire on. Yeah, if we can take a couple of them down, it would be so useful. Oh man, that sucks. It makes our job a little harder. Wouldn't say impossible necessarily, but quite a wee bit harder. Okay, we could hide the doctor here. This is a 100% secure location. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move here into one position where zombies cannot reach here. We have to be very careful with overwatch shots. How do we do this? Hmm. Let me just consider. Okay, this is 90%. I'm not taking a 90% shot. <laughs> That's too much, to be honest. There's a whole bunch of positions that we could take. But the problem is this, this girl is uh, in danger. Because of the couple of bad decisions that I took. But it's alright. Let's take a look. What's the best way to do this? Aid protocol would be helpful. But they have a very high chance to hit the target. Uh, we cannot drop the body anymore. So the question is, how do we play it out? There's a very limited threat from this side, but a very high threat from that side. If we could throw the Templar at them, quite literally, we will be able to achieve incredible success. And that's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to play this out. We're going to throw the Templar at the enemy. And because of the way... This Templar, in particular, is with the skill Bladestorm. We will be able to throw her in the thick of it, and she will not only be able to survive, she will kill most of them. And there will be nothing that they can do to stop them. Doesn't matter. None of them will be able to do anything. Yeah, all of them are basic lost. We don't care. Yeah, this one will be really important to kill. If possible... Not possible. Staying on this side is kind of important. I'll see you on the other side. This one is important to kill if possible. They are perfect. Those isolating the Templar are all goners. Whatever they attempt to do, they're dead. Excellent shooting, Naron. Good job. Okay, now. Yeah, the situation is completely resolved. All of my fuck ups are fixed. Excellent. Now we're just gonna reload the gun. 
There's no more reason to shoot wildly at the enemy. Dr. Edwards is safe. And all of the dashers are uh, isolated. Archivet says, that was a grenade in hand. Why didn't you use it? Um, the reason I didn't use a grenade because because... Um, with a modify with a sit trap horde, using any amount of explosives attracts another horde. In other words, we would uh, we would solve the current conundrum. Oh, I see. We would solve the current conundrum, but we would make another one. And there you go, everyone's dead. Did anyone get wounded? I don't think so. No. Yeah, yeah, no one gets wounded. Yeah. Yeah, tactical genius, baby. Comes natural. I'm sorry. Just, you know, the way I am. Too good, baby. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here before we all die like mongoloids. That would be unfortunate indeed. And so the way we want to maneuver here is... Uh, we can do a lot here, actually. But, uh, realistically, we would like to get the fuck out. And get a higher ground position. Our goal still, uh, in, in, in a situation like this, is still to level up our people as much as we can. And we will be able to do it, and we'll demonstrate it. You already know about this. You, you know what's up. It's not, you know, it's not a new thing or anything. Put him down. And now we can work on the uh, enemies here. Let's see if Padera can get any good shots in. The queen is dead. Long live the rest of us. A fine weapon. I don't know the bullets. We have to reload for the next turn. Can we actually reach anything? No, we cannot. So we sit on our ass. We can go okay. on Overwatch as well. Okay, this one is isolated from now on, and we can just sit here and um, abuse it to our advantage. This will be really helpful because it will, will allow us to get a whole bunch of experience points by uh, liquidating all these easy targets. We're not in actually in any direct threat right now. The only character that is kind of under threat is um, uh, Fadera, but she's way too far away from any of them to be, to be under fire yet, so we don't actually care. Reload, be gone. And so what we're going to do here is something extremely boring, but something extremely profitable. Uh, this first Lost mission is really important in the way you play it. Because it gives you a unique opportunity to, ga to gain quite a lot of experience on all of your soldiers, especially on your sharpshooter, for example, and get out with a massively, uh, massively advantageous uh, position than you were prior. It's exactly what we're going to do. Excellent. Finally, the more, relief. the more free kills we can get in a situation like this, the better the shape we will be in. That's all we care about right now. Our shape, haha. <laughs> oh, there's a blue. Can I? No, not 100%. If it's not 100%, sorry, not interested. <laughs> Uh, I could actually... Yeah, I will not be able to do that. It doesn't work like that. Can you stop doing this shit? Because, like, I would like a specific target. Yes. Why would I want to kill anyone else? This is this is the target, 100%. Excellent. We're stacking the focus up to increase the end damage even further. Super important as you... Not in this particular situation, but generally speaking, it's a very good habit to get into. Um, and now... How do we do this? Yeah, we just get back up. We don't give a shit. We can move... Neron... Here... To be able to fire on more targets. Move... Everyone upwards. Oh my, we don't have... Oh no, we have. We're fine. Isolate this thing like this. Like this. The passage. Ah, the reason... Because it's blocked. I'm an idiot. <laughs> that was quite obvious. Get her up and block the passage. Hunker down. And now keep fighting away. Again, giving the priority to the sniper. Because sniper needs all the help she can get in the early stages of the game. I got you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. Excellent, excellent. Doing work here. Problem solved. Oh. 
That pucozoid's worm food. Let's get another one. Another clip in. Ten Fantastic. Four. Unloading massively on them. Cool. Do we? Yes. Just fire away on them until you run out of bullets. Oh, that sucks. Didn't kill him. There were better targets to pick up. That's my fault. Um, Archivet asked, why, do, why don't I just overwatch everyone um, in this specific situation? The reason I don't do this is because uh, when you manually kill the lost, you gain a free action point. In other words, or rather, not a free action point. Your action points are not spent when you do it this way. So this is the reason I'm doing this manually. This would be a better pistol target, actually. My mistake. But it's alright. Thumbs up. Excellent, excellent. Keep working. <laughs> Mommy dearest had that coming. I just didn't see any other way to do it. Let's take a look if we can grab anyone else. That this one is never gonna die. But we're gonna do catastrophic damage to him. Cool. I love it. Okay. Um, what's the next step? We have everything blocked out. We could just be complete dicks about this and uh, move up here. Yeah. Absolutely. Who's gonna stop us? No one is. That's cool. Okay. Um, move here back here. Get some more kills on the Templar. Templar will be out of commission for a while, though, so it's not necessarily the smartest idea. But it's also a good idea because if we can just, like, stack a whole bunch of experience on our Templar, we can just... Yeah, we can get the higher level character very quickly. And we will be able to get a... <coughs> all the necessary upgrades in the uh, Guerrilla Tactics school, which is also super important. Didn't realize he was dead, man. That's awful, actually. The equipment I have been assigned may have had awful. a noble history. Require However, reloading. the time has come to make some new purchases. That is bad. And they move through. They cannot. Let's put him here. We can we can salvage the situation immediately. Not a problem. There was see, it was a ninety-six percent shot. This is why, you know, a lot of XCOM players are very risk averse because there were four worlds in which the shot does not connect and we're in a lot of trouble. And this was one of these worlds. You see what I mean? You have to, be, you have to manage your risks very carefully because 99% doesn't mean, oh yeah, 100%. No, there is that 1%. And you have to make sure, okay, so, so what do I do if this 1% comes to fruition? That's what I do. I throw the Templar at them and she destroys them all with the blade storm ability. See, like, you have to have backup plans. And if you do, you you don't worry about that, you know? Obviously, there will not not every situation will be as easily solvable that and, as this one. But uh, some of them will be, and that's important. Knowing how to solve those, you know, you can build from there and solve the other situations too. Of course, there are some situations when nothing goes your way, and honestly, it's just uh, an unfortunate reality of this. Sometimes it will happen. Bummer. It's fine. Yeah, it's bummer, but whatever. No one's gonna die from this, so who gives a shit? Oh, we actually removed all of them too, so. But I actually want to sit here just for a little longer. I'm not in a rush to move away. We can kill a bunch of them too, but it will consume the turn. Which is 100% fine with me, to be honest. Let's kill a couple of them. Cool. Get more and more kills. Right, and make sure that we get in a good position. We don't necessarily want to overwatch because we're around a lot of explosives. It's a very dangerous proposition. So we want to make sure that we do not. Yes, let's keep the turn. Let the enemies advance towards us, towards our Templar more specifically. And get a couple of easy shots. More easy shots, I should say. And as I said, none of this you have to do, right? But it's just that it, it will set us up for an easier scenario later. And I will fuck off soon, I promise. I, I just want a couple more easy kills. Thank you. Especially on my sharpshooter. Very important. 
Because if she gets higher level, I will actually be able to use her in more serious scenarios. Not on the, you know, on, on the shooting range scenarios. Okay. Because obviously those are very easy. Now, now, now that we move the Templar away, we can actually <coughs> do whatever. We don't, we don't, we no longer care about the positioning. We don't no longer care about these battles here, right? So we can go on Overwatch once again. There's no risk of anyone dying, which is exactly what we were worried of. Uh, because any any miss like this can result in a massive explosion, right? And uh, typically, it is not a problem. But when your troops are so close to it, you have to be careful. You have to respect it. Otherwise... Rather predictable, I would say. Sweet. All right. <clears throat> Can we get a couple more kills here? The shooting gallery, baby. That's that's the real name of this operation. The shooting gallery. Sucks. Wonder how many box tops they sent in to get these supplies. Let's keep leveling up. Again, you're worse than my mother. Come on, dude. Whatever. Neron, Neron is a little rebel. Right well, the cascade voiceover. Yeah, that's a gruesome scene, is it not? Let's see what else we can spot. Oh, there's a lot more of them. Nice. I think they just appeared, actually. They, yeah, they, there's no way he wouldn't see them from this position. Excellent. Switzerland strikes again. Look at the distance he's going to cover. Almost next to me, from all the way over there. That's why you prioritize the dashers. And if you can isolate the dashers, if you can destroy them first, you're in excellent shape, you don't care. Everyone else is 100% irrelevant. Alright, cool. Uh, where's our sniper? Fadera! You must connect shots! Sister! Bloop! Bloop! Switzerland always one more... Isn't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? It's a classic Switzerland, dude. I got a lot of kills on my... Um, fucking... Mic? Words? You can use them? Hold up, hold up. Let me figure out what I'm trying to say. On my sharpshooter. Yeah, yeah, on my sharpshooter. I can move up and just do whatever. Finally, what a relief. Shit. <coughs> Rather can we get this one from here? No, right? Yeah, it's like... Now what? Send Dr. Edwards in here. Excellent, excellent. But I like not being a trash can. <laughs> but I like not being a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's too good. Anything else? Let's reload the gun. Well, that's good then. And essentially sit on our asses. We don't actually even have to kill those guys <coughs> because they will hundred percent come to us. We can move deeper if we want. The, the the reason you see the trail behind the Templar is because of the focus level. The higher the focus level, the more prominent is the visual effects connected with the Cool. I think we can just go back. We killed 62, lost already. Okay, okay. I promise to stop at 100. I promise. I just want free money. If they come close to him, they die. They didn't. Okay, good for them. <laughs> She never wanted to be a gun. <laughs> then, uh, 
Twitch chat is going bonkers. No, not really. It was, it was worse than the first time, though. I couldn't keep up. No shit. Shh, Santa, shut up. It's fine. There is a point. Bummer. There is a point. If you connect shots... That physique. Brilliant. Mm. Bodacious body. Reloading. <laughs> Trust me, not all the lost missions we're gonna run will be like this, but the first one will be as boring as possible. Intentionally. Nice. Finally, what a relief. The equipment I have been assigned may have had a noble history. However, the time has come to make some new purchases. Is there actually an enemy behind this shitty thing, or am I hallucinating? And if so, why cannot we see him? Ready. What in the fuck? It's a dash or two. I mean, those are bugged out. This one is bugged out. Uh, unfortunately, but everyone else. Cool. Soon my computer will crash from all the corpses that we laid here. Hey, more free shots. Do I have any bullets left in the sniper? Yeah, there you go. Let's go. Three kills. Or three shots, rather. Or three kills, yes. Just don't want to jinx it, necessarily. Doctor's like, Doctor... Uh, Dr. Anders here is just like, can we just please, Edwards, can we just please fucking leave this place? The fuck are we doing here? Didn't you come here for me? No, baby, we came here for the experience of it all. That's really why we're here. Nah, it's too, way, too, too low a shot chance. Or hit percentage. So we're just gonna go up, grab the body, and uh, go. To be honest, we got what we wanted. We got a whole bunch of kills. We don't need necessarily more. Understood. That should be more than enough to put our sniper ahead. You're on point. What the fuck? Is there actually a bud? What the fuck? Yes. So why do you not show him to me? I like how he's just fucking flickering. I mean, I understand he's behind cover, but he's not even hiding behind it. He's just there, you know? It's not like... It's weird. I'm pretty sure it shouldn't work like this. Now we slowly walk in. Uh, Fadera and um, our sharpshooter and our Templar will be covered in the air, essentially. You got caged. Firebrand is in position. Get back to the entry point for extraction before you get overrun. <coughs> Picking up more good man. It sucks, but thank you so much for <laughs> thank you so much for joining, brother. It was fun. Good day. You can still watch the YouTube video. You're not losing anything. But thank you so much for dropping by. You made it much more fun than it would have been. I mean, it still would be fun, but your your chat spawn is truly legendary. More free shots. Okay, so now what do we do? We fucking bail. Uh, yeah, yeah, we just bail. Right if anything there. happens, the um, uh, Templar will be able to pick up the slack. Dr. Edwards. I mean... Yeah, I mean, I could Ten actually four. reload the rifle, but... Let's do this. The last action. <coughs> Sweet. We got so many kills on our sniper, that's so good. It's actually the, the mission type that I love to bring a sniper on. Such a good addition to the team. Such an excellent addition to the team. We don't have to kill all of them, and we actually don't have to kill any of them, to be honest. We just have to punch a hole through them to evacuate the... Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? That's bizarre. The game is just... Fucking spazzing out on me. Not sure why. What's the chance to hit? 75. No, I'm not taking it. I just walk. I'm here. Always love to travel. 
standard diamond formation. Reporting in from new position, Commander. Yeah, we're almost squad three. Let's send the Doctor Edwards first. Firebrand is the VIP safely on board. Hey, Sanfo, how are you doing, brother? Welcome to the show. We're actually we're actually deposing it for the YouTubes. So, oh wow, what the fuck? It's fine because Templar is behind, but. I didn't realize that they would be able to get so close. Yeah, they're all dead. It doesn't matter. That's why we that's why we keep the Templar with the Blade Storm behind. We really lucked out with the skill. If not for this skill, we would have to be much, much more conservative in the way we play. But uh, because we we lucked out with the roll, we can just basically we can just sit down on this thing and just use it until we transition to mid-game. Not all of your playthroughs would be so lucky. But when you are when they are, you know. You can absolutely use them to your advantage. Yeah, none of the other shots will connect, so. Okay. Let's just get the fuck out. Most satisfactory, Commander. Can do some more damage. Uh, we can do some more damage too. I mean, yeah, yeah, we should. Cool. You are not killing anyone. Any free shots we can take, it's just good. I know I'll never eat again. Yeah, as long as I can see them, I can just zap them with my vault. Perfect. Kill both of them. On paper. Sweet. Both are dead. Cool. Now we can just defeat all together. That should work. Let's go. Save the game just in case. This thing sometimes bugs out. But it does look pretty. Hey, there you go. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. We got the VIP escort. We got the Dr. Edwards herself. Fantastic job. And we got 84 kills in total. Which is really good, especially to our sharpshooter. Because... Yeah, sniper kills are very, very few and far between at the start of the game. Challenged throne. Let's go. There you go, baby. That's how it's done. Honestly, the freest mission type ever. Especially if you have a ranger or a templar. Skirmisher is fine too. Like, but templar, templar and ranger is just really, really good in this scenario. Um, a ranger because uh, the damage is higher than of the skirmisher. And you don't need more action points, you just need one. <laughs> and uh, with the Templar, because damage is just, again, skyrocket, uh, skyrocketing, and the chance to hit is 100%. Super important. I like how they take a picture regardless of my wishes, they're like, suck my dick. We're taking, we're taking a picture, Mike. You don't like it? Ah, uh, well, sue me then. Oh, no courts. Okay. And yeah, there you go. The unruly misfits of mine. What can I do? Aliens sure know how to turn a planet into a Oh home. baby, everyone got promoted. Zombie swarms. Isn't it great? Just what we need. It is great. Let me let me let me give you a hint. Intel, Grenadier, and Scientist. Perfect. Cool. Perfect face. Allow me to uh fix it. Real quick. We also got a negative trade, but it's fine. Shaken, really. For how long? Chance to take uh, for one day. Just to take a shot immediately after going on Overwatch. So we never go on Overwatch then. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> it's never going to bo uh, bother us or affect us in any way. So. Oh, Advanced just two perks. Might oh, be more resourceful than your average trooper. That's so. But I doubt our forces will have <laughs> But any such perks do. When enemy dies, we can see. Especially since he's not asking for a live one. There's not a whole lot that surprises I mean, me. I'm definitely curious to see if the chip we cool. pulled from the commander really is connected to the ones Advent's been using in there. Let me take a look at how much time we have. We have okay, ten more minutes. So okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up with the skills here, and we're gonna take a break for today. Haywire definitely super important. Not only because the other one is a little buggy in the base game that we're playing right now. Oh, that's a good one. That's gonna be really useful. Blade Master. I really prefer the Blade Master over the Scout 3, to be honest with you. We're gonna go with the Long Watch. Cool. Everyone got a bunch of experience points. Yeah. Our Templar is super far ahead in experience curve. That's gonna help a lot. And Neron got a... Um, 
Uh, got a, what's you call it? A call sign. Aussie C. Perfect. Yeah, dude. Gifted here. So good. Helps a ton. Uh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, we're in really good shape. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to take um, Sanfo and... Uh, Sanfo and Malika on the same mission at the same time. Like, it would be really good because they're the, the bonded pair. But, you know, it's fine. Let's favorite this one. It's kind of nice, actually. I like it. Fully random picture generation. When it's lovely, it's just perfect. Okay, so we have laboratory almost built. So let's wait up a little bit uh, until we get the... Oh, stop, 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 stop. We got that uh, engineer, no? <coughs> no, we did not. So we still have one engineer and one scientist. So let's... Let's play it out, actually. We're not in a rush. We're definitely not going on the next mission here, but we have a whole bunch of things we can do here. We have to finish up taking the engineer and uh, assign him to position. And now we have the laboratory as well. Perfect. We will assign our scientist here, essentially multiplying, doubling uh, effectiveness of our research. And now that we have um, power coal, that's where we're going to dig. But first we need the higher level. That's 100%. Let's go like this. And when we have the other one, we'll, we'll get this one as well. Yeah, perfect, perfect. I really like it. So let's save the game just in case. As I mentioned before, we're not going to save scum, but um, the game is not necessarily super stable. And to alleviate this, I'm going to save all the time after every mission, just in case. You never know what's going to happen, you know? You just better be saved than sorry. The results of our breakthrough were quite Perfect, effective. let's get this one. So we got the... Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go on communications now. This the magnetic weapons are 14 days away. I could actually rush them as well. But I will go with a more steady route with the communications to be able to get quite a bit more money because we're gonna be low on money very soon. And it's not the place we wanna be in. So... Do we have an engineer? We still do not. Cool. So, okay, so it wasn't enough time to finish the... There you go. Okay. We got a new engineer. Let's assign him to dig out the other thing. And cool. And I think I'm just gonna stop at this point. Um, by After sending the guy. So while I'm sending the um, Sky Ranger, uh, the Avenger to the position that I care about, uh, two words, right? Two things. If you would like to be part of this playthrough, do not forget to put a comment um, below the video that you would like to be part of the XCOM team. Uh, make sure to write everything that is relevant and important. Um, something along the lines of, of what um, uh, nationality you would like to be, what color of your skin you'd like to have, what color of your hair, what color of your eyes, what type of armor, you know, like heavy, not heavy, what class would you like to prefer. I will, of course, adjust when I have to, but if I can, I will just follow your wishes. Uh, and yeah, and the second thing is if you would like to see those recorded live, you can always visit the Twitch TV uh, slash Quickerino. Um, where we're recording those lives because you know lives where, where we're recording this live because that's where it's done uh, I thank you so much for watching and listening have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one tomorrow and I don't have a hotkey